Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Third Edition for the PS1. Oh, I'm I'm being told that they are sisters. By my sister. You're happy with answer A. Good. Are you? Oh my God! Thanks a lot, sis. Here's what you should have picked. The robots? Well, because my sister now, I have to do a redemption video. Will I redeem myself? Stay tuned and find out. What's going on, guys? It's GenFan777 here, and this is Game 5 of my... Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry, this is my redemption video for Game 5 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, third edition for the PlayStation console. How about giving me your name? I'm not gonna give you my name, Regis, because I didn't use my real name in the original Game 5. So yeah, I have to use the name that I ended up using, which was Nino. Finally, let's get to it! So, yeah. By the way, it will not count as a reference. Okay, let's play. And I have to get at least $32,000 in to avoid having to do a, in this case, a second now, redemption video. Number one. Well, hold on, let me just close the swag box thing. Alright. Here we go, for a hundred bucks. According to the Joyce Kim Kilmer poem, I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a what? My knee, a tree, the sea, or Aunt B? Uh, I want to say a tree. No, you feel confident. Oh wait, I think it's a C. It's the C. You oh, okay. It. Thank God, it was a tree. Okay, you got the first one right, but don't get too excited. You've got 14 more questions before your final, final answer. Yes, we just I can do math. Anyway, for 200 bucks. According to a well-known saying, revenge is a dish best served how? Medium rare, cold, on a bed of lettuce, or with a side of fries? Oh, Lucy sure learned that revenge is a dish best served with a side of fries. You think Ansa B will work Okay, it's you. best served cold. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Um, take a look at my my redemption video for game four for further details. Hey, you've got the $200, but don't stop now. Here's your $300 question. Earlier, um, in, oh, no, never mind. What am I thinking? What I meant to say was, hold on, let me just do it. So 300 bucks. A person who was not speaking clearly is said to be doing what? Morphing, mumbling, mowing, or mamboing? They are mamboing. Okay, they're mumbling, Your which is probably what I'm doing right fine. now. <sighs> probably do that in all my videos. But so what right. I meant to say was, after Lucy screwed me up, I decided not to kill her. Instead, to have Cat Noir use his nice cataclysm on her. Doing great, really. Now take a peek By the way, that will only count as one question. reference because Here we go. I used both of those terms in a single sentence. So there we go for half a grand. Which of these fast food restaurants has used the trademark, sl trademark slogan, have it your way? McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, or Burger King? That is D, Burger King, final answer. D is your A is I'm loving it. B and C... Uh, so I don't think right. have slogans. I don't think where's the beef counts as a slogan, so, yeah. And there's no jack-in-the-box right, where I live. Going for 1, Take a look. That kind of sucks. At least I can guarantee myself some money if I get this thousand dollar question right. What London train station is also the name of a beloved bear of children's literature? Paddington? Waterloo, Victoria, or Hammersmith? That is A, Paddington, final answer. You're happy with answer A. Good. Paddington Bear, yes. You are so right. He came out with two movies. Neither of which I saw. Nor do I intend on watching. Alright, looking good here. That's $1,000. Want to double it? Next one is worth two thousand. Yes, I would love to double it, Regis. 
All right, for two grand, here we go. I'm halfway to being able to continue my run. When referring to internet commerce, the abbreviation B2B means what? Buyer to buyer, business to business, brokerage to brokerage, or builder to builder. That is B, business to business, final answer. And wouldn't you know it, that is answer B. You're fine with answer B. Okay. Damn, too many Bs. You're absolutely right. So here we go for four grand. Hey, that's six questions in a row. You're just nine away from breaking the bank. And the best part is, so far I've done it without using a single lifeline. So here we go for four thousand dollars. On the TV show Saturday Night Live, which of these cast members regularly impersonates Bill Clinton? Will Ferrell, Jimmy Fallon, Chris Catton, or Daryl Hammond? I think it's funny that Will Ferrell and Daryl Hammond are on there as Alex Trebek and uh, okay, Sir Sean Connery. Anyway, this looks like a job for the audience. Right, I was gonna say Daryl Hammond. Ooh, 42% said Will Ferrell, helpful. 30 so for Jimmy Fallon, like 20 for Daryl Hammond, clock, and 8 for Chris Catton. Oh god. I'll go with Will Ferrell. I swear to god, audience, you're getting the cataclysm you if you're wrong. Audience, Especially eh? if it's Daryl Hammond. Oh, curse you, audience! That is incorrect. Here's the answer we were looking for. Oh, that's it! Cat Noir, get over here! Because of the audience, now I must away second redemption! Now that's what I like to see you at the top of tonight's leaderboard. By all means, come back again and play! Yeah, well... By the way, that kind of has two references. Third edition. So... Yeah. Gotta do a second redemption. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Thanks for watching anyway. Remember to subscribe for guaranteed videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern 2 Pacific. And if you want to support me on Patreon for 5 bucks a month, you get 24 hour early access to my videos. And one of those monthly dollars will go to the Cancer Research Institute. If we get up to $100 a month, I will do a 5 game Wheel of Fortune video game marathon. Which, of course, I am seriously thinking about changing. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry I failed you guys. I will see you all on Monday. Bye.